Oh, I got nowhere else to go. What's the deal here? <laughs> this the pity party for the guys who didn't get anything on Valentine's? Come on, lay off. Must suck to have no game. <sighs> Pardon me. Huh? Ryuji? Oh, Yusuke! You're in the same boat, huh? Which boat? You know, the, uh, the big V-Day came and went and you didn't get any chocolates from the ladies. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I did receive some chocolates. Man, come to think of it, you are kind of a pretty boy. So if you got all that chocolate, what are you doing here? A craving struck. I felt a powerful desire for some of Boss's coffee, and his curry, and perhaps one of his desserts, if the opportunity presents itself. It may take some digging, but if I can find all the money on me, I should be able to cover it. How about you just take a seat? Duh. Oh, it's just like last year. But maybe I'm... Nah, I just... I was all set to complain, but I don't know. Maybe girls don't like me for a reason, like I'm doing something wrong. Oh no, who are you? And what have you done with Ryuji? Ah, shut up, cat. Just thinking, that's all. It's better than moping, I suppose. Admirably constructive. Right? So, how about it, boss? Any tips on the ladies? My only tips are in a jar. While I'm certainly in no rush to find a relationship, I confess I'm curious to hear boss's thoughts on love. Same here. Well, uh, it's, um, it's pretty complicated. In my experience, women can be casual about expressing attraction to guys. Sometimes it can be subtle, and popular guys definitely pick up on those cues. So what? We gotta keep an eye out for these hints? No, <laughs> the opposite. See, women, they like guys who know themselves. You gotta know how to be comfortable with who you are. And a guy who's constantly on high alert, trying to chase love? Sounds to me like he's still figuring himself out. Man, this is complicated. Yep, that's love. Never as simple as it looks. If it was, it wouldn't be any fun. Whoa, that's deep. Quite enlightening. But I suppose that confirms it. Pursuing love for its own sake would be fruitless. I'll let my heart guide me. When the time is right, I'm sure I'll know. Yusuke seems pretty confident. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy for me. Well, I'm no Yusuke, but I can work on figuring myself out. Once I do, I won't have to look for a girlfriend. She'll come looking for me. Hell, I'm gonna be swimming in ladies. <laughs> Sure you will, kid. Not used to getting serious about this stuff. Could use a meal after that. You guys want to go eat somewhere? <laughs> My treat. Seriously? I, I couldn't ask for a full meal. All I wanted was some coffee and curry. And that's different how? I need me some fancy restaurant sushi. Or a steak. A5 grade. <laughs> Even the cat's all worked up. Here, let me close the shop and we can head out. Oh, uh, you can have this. Got it from some lady at a convenience store. <laughs> I mean, she was an employee, but hey! What? Hell no! Hey, if you two lovebirds are finished, we've got a restaurant to get to. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Come on, they're gonna leave us behind. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course.
You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this, hotshot. Lucky guy, having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. Oh, uh, sorry. Did I say something wrong? Um, <laughs> I'm sure you have nothing to worry about in that department. How about we stop right there, lady? For his sake. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Oh! I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. I expected at least a phone call, though. Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. I was hoping I'd get a chance to hand this over, so this is good timing. You know how it was Valentine's Day yesterday? It's just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya! Morning! We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. As friends. Close friends. I'll be counting on you. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? Oh, Senpai. Sorry, I didn't mean to ambush you like this. But this is yours, if you want it. It's chocolate. A token of my appreciation and respect. Well, when I put it like that, it sounds a bit too intense. Oh, please, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal at all. I just wanted to show you I really appreciate you putting up with me. And I hope that doesn't change. until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime too. Just let me know when you're free. Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. I'm relieved you're safe. On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion, if you'll accept it. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends, even when it's purely platonic. It seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate your return, and express my gratitude. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this.
It's to celebrate your freedom. And to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but... Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Oh, perfect timing! You got a sec? Cool, I just wanted to give you something. Don't worry, not gonna make it weird. Just, if Sojiro saw, he'd get ideas and start freaking out. So, here you go. A chocolatey gift for my friend and squad mate. If you want to pay me back, I'll take a year's supply of instant noodles. What? You thought I was serious? Relax! It's just a gift from me to you. Cause you're my key item, right? And you always will be. 